Southwest Florida's news source. This is Fox 4 News at 6. A Cypress Lake High School student who had a gun pointed at him last week says he would be dead if not for the quick action of another student. The victim speaking out tonight after the school suspended the student who wrestled a loaded 22 caliber, 22 caliber revolver out of the hands of a gun wielding teen. Four New Corners Matt Grant has continuing coverage of a story that's got a lot of you talking. Well, Patrick, a Lee County School Board member is calling the teen we spoke with last week a hero for disarming a teen threatening to shoot. Tonight, we're digging deeper into what happened, why the student was punished, and what the victim has to say about it. You think he would have killed you? Yeah. The victim, who we've agreed not to identify, is still shaken after investigators and the teen say a gun-wielding student aimed a loaded revolver at him last week and threatened to shoot. He's going to shoot and kill me. That's what he said? Yeah. According to the arrest report, several other students helped disarm the suspect. He was going to shoot a point blank. This is the voice of a 16-year-old who helped wrestle away the gun. We're distorting his voice because he fears for his safety. He raised the gun again. That's when I jumped in the seat. And we started firing for the gun. And I got it from him. And if you didn't tackle him, what do you think would have happened? More of us would have been dead, not just one. The next day, the principal suspended the teen many are calling a hero. According to the referral, it was because he was part of an incident where a weapon was present. That's crazy when I found that out. News of the suspension stunned the victim, who says the teen saved his life. If he didn't do what he did, what do you think would have happened? I would have probably been the next murder in Kelton in the city. A district source says the teen was suspended with two other students, the gun and an accomplice. Others who helped tackle the suspect, we're told, were not suspended because they cooperated with the investigation. Were those students suspended? Last week, we tried getting answers from the school's principal, but she drove off, later telling me in an email, I am not talking to you. But she is responding to many of you who flooded her with angry emails, saying, quote, there are other circumstances involved in this situation, and no students were suspended or punished for helping disarm another student of a firearm. So why then was he suspended? The principal sent the teen's family a new referral over the weekend, this time saying it was because he was uncooperative and lied repeatedly to law enforcement. The teen says he was interrogated for four hours. He admits withholding information from authorities, but says it was only because he feared for his life. You don't talk around here. Because then what, you get a bad reputation? That or you get killed. My son did a very courageous thing on that bus. Without him and some of the other students, it would have been some fatalities. Mr. Armstrong. I caught up with school board member Don Armstrong, who's conflicted about this case. Do you stand by the decision to suspend this student? I stand behind if a student lies, there's got to be consequences. That consequence was a three-day suspension that Armstrong admits might have been excessive. I know that he's saved a student's life, and he's a hero. Period. That suspension needs to be expunged off his record. Well, the teen who many are calling a hero returned to school today. The district says they can't comment on discipline matters because of student privacy. The 15-year-old gunman was charged with possession of a firearm on school property and assault with a deadly weapon without intent to kill. Live in the studio, Matt Grant, Fox 4, in your corner. We have been getting an earful from you about this story, telling us if you think the school did the right thing or not. Four in the corners, Miriam Zamorano is sharing your views. A lot of you responding saying a suspension is not fair. Here's Gail, an out-of-town high school teacher, calling in. The school district treated him incredibly unfairly. He was missing out on his education when he was heroic, and I think they should be reprimanded. Another caller saying she's disappointed in the way the school responded. It's just a shame that the good ones have to suffer for the bad. And Betty sounding off. Where is their logic? Where is their common sense when you're when you're punishing the hero. Paul from Port Charlotte saying the school had to do what it did. The school system has every right to spend a just in case they need to get the documentation and uh, make sure that they get all everything and sort out everything and that's the only reason why. So I think yeah they did the right thing. Barbara adding to that posting on our Facebook page they have to do that until all are questioned for the protection of all. Miriam Zamorano Fox 4 in your corner. In the